Hey guys, and welcome to a segment of my YouTube channel that I actually started in 2018. However, due to a lot of things going on in my life, I didn't have the chance to follow up as much as I would love to have followed up. Now guys, I want to reintroduce you guys to a segment of my YouTube channel called Trader Talk, right? Basically, I'm gonna be coming on here every week okay to give you guys weekly analysis i know you guys are gonna love this i usually do this in the form of a webinar um however i've decided to also bring back my trader talk um episodes whereby i come on every week and i come and share my screen with you guys and show you guys what exactly i'm looking at for the week ahead what exactly it is i'm trading and obviously follow my trades or rather follow my analysis and you're most likely going to make a significant amount of money in the market so here i am guys dapple willis once again i'm back here and today i'm actually going to be discussing a couple of pairs now i had a webinar on sunday as of the time i'm recording this is 6 45 dubai time um i had a webinar tuesday 6 45 dubai time i had a webinar on sunday i usually have my webinars on sundays and i did my live analysis with with only my exclusive telegram members and people that follow me on social media um however i i forgot to click the stream button to youtube right so i was like you know what i'm gonna come on here and i'm gonna do another video explain to you guys what exactly it is we spoke about over the weekend now moving forward this segment of the channel will still stand you're most likely going to come you're most likely going to see me here every tuesday and that the segment is going to be called trader talk Guys, I'm very passionate about this. I'm very hyped about this. And yeah, so like I said today, I'm going to be discussing a couple of pairs. Gold seems to be giving me some nice opportunities. Thank God the dollar has started trending again. Euro US is looking nice. Um, the S&P 500, I'm going to be showing all that to all of you guys here. And yeah, just stick around while I take you guys into my computer. Hey guys, and welcome inside of my screen. So today I want to kick off with, first of all, um, before I proceed into any of that, I just hope everybody has had a fantastic trading week so far. Um, uh, I know forex can be quite daunting sometimes, how, so this is exactly why I decided to come on here. You know, like I said earlier, I'm bringing back the Trader Talk episode, whereby I can come on here every week and obviously share some light on the pairs that I'm looking at at the moment. So first things first, I like to kick off with gold, right? Gold has been on my mind for a while. Like, I, I, I wrote gold all the way from let's say 1000 about somewhere about here all right this is exactly where i started buying gold from okay actually this breakout to the upside is exactly where i started buying gold from so i have eaten a lot of pips from gold i took gold from here all the way up here you can check my previous youtube videos as far back as 2018 i held gold all the way from 2018 to 2019 um probably into better part of 2020 yeah if i'm not mistaken if i check yeah, yeah, yeah. into 2020 yeah yeah so my take profit was at this blue zone somewhere about here anyways i've been out of gold for a while because after every move after every move there's always a consolidating move so obviously because of this massive impulse wave we have seen this consolidation that has pretty much it pretty much this consolidation pretty much started in august of um 2020 august of last year so august um september october november december we've been in this nasty range for about four months and what tends to happen when obviously we go into a range traders tend to get very impatient they start to see things that don't exist I remember traders trying to draw this as a triangle, you know, and stuff like that. They try to they start to see things that don't exactly exist. Now, what had happened last week, um, actually the better part of December, if I'm not mistaken, the better part of December, what had happened in December was um, gold had come to put in this nice flag pattern that as we that we can see pretty nicely here. Oh, this guy is bugging me out. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to close some of my apps. <laughs> People keep messaging me all the damn time about Forex. All right, cool. Let's go back. Let me just make sure this is recording. Okay, I think it's recording. Good. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So um, this very nice flag pattern had formed 
pretty nicely and this was looking like a very very nice breakout to the upside let me just go ahead and delete this so that it doesn't confuse you guys that much okay see that's deleted okay very 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 nice you know break out to the upside and i remember on my telegram group a couple of traders um were actually talking about the breakout to the upside and they wanted to jump on the trade however i was very skeptical about jumping on any gold buy trades um because i had just taken out five thousand pips from gold and i was like I don't really think gold is going to continue giving me some more pips if you get what i mean right <laughs> so what i did was I, I i zoomed out for those of you guys who who who've been following me for a while you know like i like to have like a, a a higher time frame perspective on things right i like to i like to i like to see the vision i like to see the future right so what i did was i came on a monthly time frame like i always do i hope this will take me to the monthly time frame or oh, did it oh yeah yeah I think I messed that up. Let's 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 go away from the let's go over to monthly on this. That's the 30 minute time frame. Disgusting. Okay, so if we go over to the monthly time frame, okay, let me just delete everything that is here. Now on the monthly time frame, this is actually the resistance level. Okay. If you want to learn how to draw these levels the way that I draw them, I speak about it more on the Forex Mastery program. So do yourself a favor and grab that shit. <laughs> Alright, so this is the resistance level, okay? And if you look, everybody's looking at this. I mean, the market seems to have broken the resistance level, right? I mean, this is a clear case of breakout, retest, continuation to the upside. And if you come down on a daily time frame, okay, you know, it just seemed like, if I just adjust this to the upside a little bit, it just seemed like, you know, this was a very, very amazing breakout to the upside. This was, it just seemed like a triangle breakout. Because if I put something like here, somewhere about here, this looks like a beautiful, oh, sorry, give me a sec, guys. This looks like a, you know, a very nice triangle breakout to the upside. Now, everybody got into the buy trade. Traders got induced here for the buy. Now, why didn't I get into this trade? And guys, I'm getting somewhere with this. I will tell you what, where I feel gold is, gold is going to go to next. But why did I not get into this buy trade? Now, I was very skeptical because if I come back on the monthly time frame, one thing I know for a fact about Forex is this. If the market comes and makes a high, okay, that is not exactly clearer than the previous high so the only way that i'll be looking for or the only way i'm going to be looking for buy scenarios in gold is if we had come to close somewhere above here okay okay maybe not that high maybe here but this is too close to the previous high and guys look at this look at this very well okay if i put my res my I mean, my resistance bar is usually here, but if I put a line at the top, the wick of this candle, you will notice that we did not exactly put in a, a, a convincing higher high, okay? Now, let's leave that level there, and let's come back down to the weekly time frame, okay? Let's come back to the time frame that everybody wanted to start buying. Now, I'll just do that again. This was the triangle that everybody wanted to buy. Let me delete this. Okay. This was the triangle that everybody wanted to buy right about here. Okay. I mean, a very nice buy to the upside. But guys, guess what happened? This level here that everybody seemed to have ignored. Because the truth is, once you do your analysis, you just want the trade to play out the way you... You just want the, play, the trade, to, the damn trade, to just play out, pretty much. And then we fail to look at reasons why it should not play out. If you bring a trading setup to me, the very first thing I'll do is I'll look for reasons why the trade will not play out. Why? Why do I do this? Because it's just that's just a logical way to look at things. The, the setups always look glamorous and beautiful, but there's always that one thing. There's always that one. And traders don't realize this until it's too late. 
okay they don't realize it until they're inside of the trading they're like oh my god yes that trend line oh yes that resistance and what hap what has now happened is this they've gone in for the buy and after they've gone in for the buy probably watched my webinar on sunday and realized that oh my goodness there's actually a level here and look and this is a clear case of market manipulation this this is this is a clear case of case of market manipulation for those of you guys who do not understand what market manipulation is is simply when the market makers i.e the investment banks drive the price in the wrong direction to weed out to induce buy orders so what they've done is they've induced all the buy orders here so that they can add their own sell orders because everybody is looking you understand everybody's looking they, they can tell that everybody's looking to buy but they want to sell so they will induce all the buyers so that they can drop their own sell orders here and then look at what's happened this is driven the price all the way back to the downside everybody who's bought here is in absolute trouble now okay so you know that's one reason why i refuse to get into this gold buy now on the flip side uh gold is now looking very bearish so let's actually do some analysis um, and see exactly how we can take advantage of gold what gold is saying at the moment um so first of all i'll come on the monthly time frame my analysis is always easy straightforward and simple uh let's expand the screen because i think the way i'm recording it my software doesn't exactly make the charts look that big enough okay so i'll go for the high highs of the market okay somewhere about here yeah that's pretty much all i need now let me break it down for you let's go to a lower time frame okay already you can see that gold is at a gold it gold right now is at a region of i call it 50 50 because this is a very deciding point in the market if we were somewhere here i could easily tell you that gold was going to come here right but we're at a point whereby don't forget guys higher time frame chart patterns are always 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 like don't fuck with them they're the most reliable chart patterns you don't want to play with them this is looking like a double top to me on a monthly time frame i would take it very seriously okay so all the, the only thing i need from the monthly is the key level okay which i've done so f just nicely so far let me just make this pretty thin i put this at the top here and i'm going to come to the weekly time frame okay to see exactly what is happening uh just go over to the daily right so from what i can see if i just adjust this to just touch where it's supposed to touch properly um from what i can see on the daily time frame okay on the daily time frame let me just give me a sec guys let me put this up properly so this was the trend line that everybody thought the market had broken okay and as you can see we've had the false move to the upside and we're now pointing down okay so at the moment gold seems to be pointing towards the downside um and if indeed we do sustain below now guys this is the criteria for gold we do need to sustain below this bar okay this is a very strong region that we do need to stay below if we can stay below this region we will be driving all the way to the downside this is exactly my prediction for gold okay um so i'm 80 percent bearish on gold however there's a possibility there's always a possibility for something else to happen we can easily fly out from here all the way to the upside um, the chances of that happening is quite slim uh just because just looking at it i just feel like you know the monthly time frame is at a massive resistance point at the moment and i think gold wants to come in for a little rest maybe before we even start to maybe before we even continue to the upside and secondly if i draw this this channel properly um i can see the bottom of the channel is somewhere here if i look to my left and want to plot some minor levels um I can obviously see a minor level lined up somewhere down here. Give me a sec, guys. I can see a minor level lined up somewhere at the bottom. And if I also go on the weekly time frame to try and look for some trend line to pop in this market, uh, I can see trend line 
somewhere about here okay so i can i feel personally that gold might want to come in here let me just expand this properly just make this zoom in properly so on a higher time frame this is if you see how clean and easy my chart are guys trust me analyzing gold is not obviously the easiest guys i don't know why my fucking nipple is itching. <laughs> this is so embarrassing <laughs> this is so embarrassing anyways um but yeah i feel like gold and guys usually the analysis take me about between two to three minutes to do is so easy top-down analysis bam 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 i'm able to come as you can see no indicators this is why when i preach you don't need any you don't need that shit, boy you don't need indicators the forex mastery course will teach you everything it is you need to know about forex okay it's an amazing program put together by yours truly you want to grab it the link is down below okay now um just looking at this at the moment now you're probably wondering why uh yeah so that's it so i have two scenarios for gold right and guys look at something else i want you guys to pay attention look at the weekly on the daily time frame this candle came out and was very visible it closed here and then came around and turned down below but look at the weekly the weekly closed right back down below this is sometimes when i see the market playing a bit funny and i'm not sure i wait for the weekly candle close for it, for it to give me a clear direction and this has come and closed right back down below here okay i've put my levels here all i need for gold to do is this okay i need for gold to stay below this level about here which is currently right now gold is a bit confused um, it doesn't know what exactly. It doesn't know his left from his right at the moment. I just need gold. Let me delete some of these lines because I don't want. I like. I I pride myself in having some of the cleanest charts in forex. Okay, delete all this stuff. And there you go. Okay. Let's counter trend line nicely done. Okay. Okay. Now, as long as we stay below this blue bar here, our next level target is going to be down here. If we break here, we're going to come down here. It's as easy as that. A, B, C. I'm favoring 80% to the downside, okay, and 20% to the upside. Why 20% to the upside? Don't forget, guys, I'm, I don't, like, Forex is not about predicting the market. It's about reacting to what you see. In the best way possible i'm still going to keep an open mind for an upside movement i always do that okay in the event that we do carry out to the upside next level targets for gold will be all the way um at this level about here okay but i'm favoring the upside to the tune of 20 percent which is not a lot i'll be i'll be looking more uh, at the downside for gold so we'll see how it happens how exactly it plays out if we bash out all the way to the upside and we break guys i wouldn't even buy as long as we're below this trend line i will not be looking for buy opportunities gold will need to come and break above and close above and stay above before i can start considering moves to the upside so at the moment i'm waiting for gold to finish playing around here once it's done I would then be looking moving to a lower time frame um something like a four hour time frame let me see what exactly is happening on the four hour time frame um so the four hour time frame seems to seems to be lining up pretty nice okay four hour time frame seems to be lining up pretty nice um let me go back actually let's go over to one hour time frame to see if we can spot some potential entries aha gold is giving me something interesting Give me a sec, guys. My battery is about to die out. All right, cool. So on a one-hour time frame, this is exactly what I can see on gold. Um, on a one-hour time frame, what I can see is I have seen a left shoulder, a head, and a right shoulder. So gold tried to come in here on a lower time frame to try gold tried to come in here on a lower time frame for you lower time frame traders and scalpers this looks like a what a, a, an inverse head and shoulder but look at what has happened the market the flow of this market is pointing down even your head
head and shoulder on the one hour time frame could not even save you okay i saw this earlier on today i ignored it okay so what i can see here is a failed head and shoulder left shoulder head right shoulder a failed head and shoulder anytime a failed head and shoulder happens what tends to happen is that the market tends to correct back down in its original direction so um yeah it's very simple i shall be waiting for further confirmation on gold this should look like a very very straightforward trade where is my okay so sell position somewhere anywhere around here um obviously i'll have some take out some of my position somewhere about here first level target is going to be here second level second level target is going to be down here and then when i mean first level target i'll probably be taking out about maybe 20 percent of my position or 10 just to bank something and then i'll leave maybe 50 take out 50 percent here and then all of while i'm doing this i'll be moving my stop losses to break even and i'll be you know just catching in on the trades okay just holding on to the trades so I think that's pretty much it guys um even looking at this one hour guy one hour time frames give me a damn headache okay so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see um like i said this gold is not exactly giving us the clearest case scenario at the moment but we shall trade what we can trade and we'll see where it goes if indeed this trade doesn't work out we'll look for potential buy opportunities but I feel this might just work out. All right, guys. So let's go over to the next pair I want to speak about. I wasted too much, too far, too much time on gold, which is actually the euro USD, euro dollar. Okay, let's go over to euro dollar. Right, I was actually doing some analysis on my on my trading view on my phone. Actually, I'm just gonna delete all this stuff. <laughs> straight to the monthly let's start from the monthly okay let's start from the monthly to see what exactly is on the monthly time frame what does the monthly time frame have for us guys you can see how my charts are always looking very very clean no need for indicators no need for iml no need for signals we shall analyze this together and then we shall be good to go okay Kidoki. okay all right <laughs> All right, 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 Okay, so I have mapped out my key levels on gold at the moment on the monthly time frame. Uh, not gold, Euro USD. So from what I can see here on Euro dollar is very simple and straightforward. I've seen the triple bottom here. We tried, we moved to the upside. We closed above. I was expecting a pullback into here and. It continuation to the upside however euro decided to come even deeper and deeper literally almost trying to violate this uptrend okay we came even deeper i thought we were even going to come here as a matter of fact there was a point i was calling shots on euro all the way down here however we came here uh, market conditions you know allow that happen what has happened now is we've started to push all the way to the upside this was as far back as may of last year so i started to look for once i saw this bullish engulfing monthly candle break above here my my whole my whole mind shifted because it is now a higher high higher low coming in for another high so simple market parameters simple price action logic we have a push up pull back what's going to happen is a higher high even if we don't put in a higher high we must at least come in and put in equal highs now this is on the monthly time frame the monthly time frame has told me everything is giving me the direction straight up okay so, easy. so now i'm only looking for buy opportunities now let's leave the monthly time frame and see what the weekly time frame has for us okay now coming on the weekly time frame um we did break like this was the break that i told you that my my mind pretty much shifted to the upside we broke above uh somewhere around here we consolidated actually 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 let's go over to the daily the daily will paint a better picture for us yeah let's go over to the daily the daily some love the daily time frame okay guys so this was the kind of like breakout to the upside um i i couldn't i was struggling to find but find buy opportunities because the way the market broke out but one thing about me is and guys don't forget our our um the way i teach you guys how to do this on the forex mastery program in terms of plotting your levels 
I know that once we break here, we're coming here. Like I, this is how exactly I'm able to, between here to here is 1,000 pips straight up. Okay, so this is exactly how I'm able to predict a lot of pips into the future. Um, the way I plot, back to what I was saying, the way I do plot my levels are top notch, and it allows me to it allows me to be able to predict a lot of pips into the future. So once we broke out of here, I knew the next level target was going to be here. And once we broke out here, because I know the distance is so far away, I know the market, and I know one thing for a fact: the market is not linear. The market doesn't just go like this. It's going to consolidate eventually. So that's exactly what I was holding on to. And look at what happened. The market eventually did come to consolidate, although for a long time. And I was sat on my hand. This is why most of 2020, I wasn't really trading the euro because I think this consolidation started, um, yeah, started somewhere in 2020. Yeah, For a long time, we consolidated in, we, we did consolidate in the euro. Excuse me, guys. Okay, cool. So let me come and explain to you guys what exactly I was thinking, right? Now, we came into this consolidation, which just seemed like it was never going to end, right? Now, because my bias, my flow of the river is, was pointing to the upside, look what happened. The market came down for a sell-off to come here. I remember seeing traders on Instagram talking about, you know, selling the market into here i was like dude this floor of the river is pointing upwards guy there's nowhere i'm going to be clicking my sell buttons to the downside is impossible so what i what the floor of the river helps me do what being able to anticipate where the market is, what the market is going to do next on a higher time frame it gives me clarity so that i don't get into the wrong trades look what happened the market comes in here the sell-off happens and induces everybody okay induces all the sellers and then takes it back up and then rigmarole to the upside at this point your stop loss is hit he tries to come back down again you enter the cell your stop loss is hit and now he comes back out here like this time i must get this cell what happens your stop loss is hit whereas all this while smart money traders like myself and the forex mastery students are sitting on our hands um because we understand how to trade ranges especially when we have a clear direction okay so all i did was simple i waited for the market to break out of this range went to a lower time frame look for a buy opportunity and this is exactly where we went long right my take profits for this trade are all the way to the upside so if i calculate one uh let's just say 1.95 all the way up to 1.240 so you're looking at a roughly about 450 pips in difference between here to here this is exactly the kind of trades i like to take because I've, I've been so patient i've been patient for months guys i mean one thing i always rely on is you see how long it took for this trade to consolidate for this market to consolidate inside here there's a saying in forex that the period in which we consolidate for or the velocity or the or, or the or, or the pressure that is trapped within a range when the market breaks out it will break out with that same momentum as well so this is exactly why once the market gave me the green light i was gone i knew somewhere in the middle of this kind of was gone to the upside and i didn't look back i wasn't scared because i understood like i know the way the market works okay and my take profit is all the way to the upside now that being said and done how do you how do you and i now take advantage of the current market conditions on you now guys it's always important that i explain what has been happening in the market before i get into what exactly is happening now so that you guys understand the entire story okay now what exactly is happening in the market now is this our overall target is to the upside however we have come and fallen short somewhere about here um so we would obviously try and reanalyze the market to see what exactly is happening okay i can see a trend line from what i can see this market is most likely coming in probably wants to come and test the trend line um i can see a minor support level somewhere about here as you can see now i'm trying to basically understand what exactly is happening why is this sell-off happening this sell-off is actually happening because an inner trend line has been broken okay doesn't mean the whole trend is over you can see there are two trend lines inner has been broken to come and test outer okay now that inner has been broken very clearly 
Um, I'm actually looking at a trading up. It's quick sell. The quick. I'm actually. I'm actually bullish. My buy trades are still open. They're somewhere about here. I think. What is this breakout? Somewhere about here. My buy trades are somewhere about here. My stop losses are past break even. Okay. However, the euro seems to be pulling back for a quick. I think it wants to do a quickie. <laughs> Let me quickly explain to you something, okay? So this is what I feel the euro wants to do, right? I feel like we want to pull into here and then we want to pull, right? So um, the inner trend line has been broken. Um, I, I want to do a counter trend trade, okay? It's a counter trend trade that I want to actually do right now, um, which I don't... If you're going to do a counter trend trade, this is what I do. I reduce my risk from 3% to 1%, okay? Because we don't really have that many trading opportunities. And I know a lot of traders are itchy. If I'm in my Telegram group, everybody's asking me, um, give me a trade, give me a trade, give me a trade. I'm like, yo, you lot don't even understand that. The market is not exactly cooperating at the moment. Okay. The market is not exactly cooperating at the moment. However, um, I came on the market and I saw some tradable opportunities. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's do this. I'm like, all right. Yalla, let's do this. Come on, Habibi. Let's do this. So if we go on a four-hour time frame... Um, from what I can see, uh, the euro seems to, the euro wants to pull into this level about here. So if we know we want to pull into this level about here, this is exactly what we do. I come and look left. I feel we have a level here. Great. So what is happening is we have broken down. So this is a very nice breakout from the this inner trend line. So we have breakout retest continuation to the downside. So the market is currently consolidating from this previous move, right? We have some room to the downside. Don't forget, this market is ultimately bullish to the upside. Don't get, don't forget about that. Now, for the fact that we're going against the market, we are going. To, it is going to be more difficult to trade situations like this because tr just think about it. Try, try and swim against a wave or a current. It's a lot more difficult. It will take. A, it, will, it will require a lot more energy and stuff like that. So, same case for this. Don't expect the market to just give you the peeps. Wow, it cannot just give you the peeps. The market cannot just give you the peeps. <laughs> For those of you guys who know, what I'm talking like. There's a governor in Nigeria, in River State. The governor of River State, that's how he talks. His name is Yenso Wiki. I cannot just I cannot just give you all the peeps. <laughs> ah, Nigeria's kill me, man. Shit. Okay, so looking left, I think we're clear to the downside. We are as you can see, this is a nice shoulder resistance area about here. One hour time frame long story short i believe i believe i believe two things are going to happen either we pop to the upside as long as we sustain as long as see, these are two levels i need you guys to watch okay all right all right all right all right all right all right okay so i feel this somewhere into here and then voila further downside okay how do you take advantage of this bad boy simple and straightforward just wait for this counter trend line to break and you're free to start selling so guys this is gold and this is euro in a nutshell this the market is not exactly trending so i'm having to go in to bring out and rip out and do this and do this not exactly the market conditions i really 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 like to be trading but hey, this is exactly what we have in front of us. We will have to make do with this. I will be reducing my risk very, very significantly until the full trends are back into play. But of course, I'm going to be taking advantage of this. My risk will probably be anywhere between 0.5% to 1%. Don't forget, I trade a significant amount of money. So um, yeah, I need, to be very, I need to be very careful with my capital. So guys, this is my analysis for gold and the euro. I think I have one more. Uh, for you guys, I think the S&P 500, I just really want to touch base on the S&P 500 um, to obviously explain to you guys what exactly is happening on the S&P 500. I just come on the monthly time frame. So the S&P 500 is looking very, very nice. Um, the US stocks have been performing fantastically over the last 10 years. Okay. 
this was the covid pandemic decline guys that's why i keep telling you guys quick listening to the news forget your mentor your bloomberg forget about all those guys when the market was crashing i was short selling because i know that with fear comes panic and selling fear and panic equals selling i was shorting the market but i i i, I it's very similar like i just mapped out my levels finish so easy this is this is a support level come on now draw how do you draw trend lines join the lower two points together and slide it to the upside come on now the market came in here come on and this market has been trending for since 2009 this is nothing but a correction what everybody was shouting during covid pandemic and then like it was nothing but the correction in the market man look at it be a technical analyst man take the forex mastery course and become a technical analyst and tell your IML mentor to fuck off <laughs> yes tell your all those people that are always organizing groups they're going to piss off man look how easy it is I just saw what see let me tell what's happening guys let me explain something about forex any news you hear is most likely already priced into the market the market was see when this COVID thing happened the market was too expensive here okay people needed like the market wanted to correct he wanted to correct anyways he was just looking for a catalyst and a, an excuse to correct and covid19 came in as a catalyst and that's exactly what happened oh my god the stock market falls the highest this in a single day i was just watching the news i was laughing check my webinars february march of 2020 covid period you will hear me tell you guys that the market will come in here and bounce out of here telling you actually i think i'll probably try and look for the clip and then i'll put it on here so there you go guys the market did come in here and obviously it does bounce all the way to the upside anyways that being said and done um i'm actually long s&p 500 about here holding on for dear life next level target for s&p 500 is 4270 easy as abc you want to learn how to predict the market like i do don't forget to grab the forex mastery program on that note guys let's save some analysis for next week i shall be hopping on here again no no webinars this sunday because this is exactly how i break down my webinars forex e for those of you guys who don't know i do have e-commerce stores as well online um e-commerce i sell products on the internet as well so forex webinar was this sunday e-commerce webinar next sunday forex e-commerce so first week of the month forex e-commerce middle of the week forex and then e-commerce that's for the webinars but this trader talk i shall hopefully guys pray for me please pray that i have the strength because it takes a lot of dedication to do this every week so guys as long as i have the strength and the time i will come on here and i'll do it every but trust me guys i want to have and i want to do this judiciously and religiously every week for the rest of 2021 so guys on that note i'll catch you guys on the outside obviously i have a little message for you guys uh see you guys on my other screen all right guys so there you go that is um today's episode of trader talk i hope i've been able to shed light on some very key issues um, and most importantly, I hope I've been able to enlighten you guys into exactly how I trade. Now, for those of you guys who want to know how to trade exactly like I do, as you already know, um, the Forex Mastery program is there to pretty much help you guys so that you, at least you can even get to understand what I'm saying a lot better. Guys, the course is absolutely fantastic. You keep on hearing me speak about it in all my videos over and over again. It's just because I've put together one of the most amazing bodies of work, okay, from nine years worth of trading experience you know you get to learn how to trade exactly like i do simple straightforward clear cut analysis right and the course is just 99 bucks the link is going to be down there below but before you guys go do me a favor hit the subscribe button right there drop me a comment and tell me if you found this video helpful most importantly tell me what pairs you're going to be trading for the week ahead all right guys that's my time dapo willis i love you guys once again and i wish you guys a very pipful bountiful of pips Pipful week ahead. Alright guys, take it easy and peace out.